This is a uh, 2829 loud. I mean, so I don't think it's anything good. On the side, no, might be in this cord. Did it? Oh, there we go. What did we get? I believe a towel. I think. Or is it that delicate? Hmm. Not sure. It's got age to it. I'm at a new location right now. And uh, you can tell it's winter out. We got snow on the ground. It was an 1800, it said here, somewhere. I think I'm pretty close. And I think that's one of the remaining older trees of the site. I do see some uh, green pines over there. So I could be maybe side yard, backyard, front yard, I don't know. I haven't seen a cellar pit, but this could be the remaining of it maybe. We'll be uh, gonna go in here. We get some kind of drainage. I don't like that. But walnuts everywhere. I'm sure this has to be the general location. Is that a well? Yeah, it looks like a big old round well right there. The um, cage it was protecting it seemed better days. So I'm in the general area. I'm in the right location. Let's see what I can find. I just uh, dug about a mile down and uh, the signal was real bad so I didn't do it live. I really didn't think it was going to be anything. I, I've literally just started this area so I'm kind of like on, you know, testing the uh, the soil out and whatnot. But it looks like I got part of um, an old uh, horse comb. They had beautiful green on there. I mean, this copper really aged really nicely. This is interesting, I'm finding this stuff here. I'm in a location where people should have hunted this place out by now. And I'm pulling stuff up like this. And in that, uh, that last cap looking thing. This spot might be interesting. This is a 16, 17, three bars down. Right next to where the, uh, the horse comb was. Ooh, something big and round. Ooh, is it a dandy? Please be a dandy. Ah, oh, just an old cap. I like it though. Some kind of old cap. Boy, they sure fooled me. Oh wait, it has a name on it. I'm gonna take the top off. It says, well, wow, that's some old writing. You know, I'm going to have to save this to the end. Because it's backwards. I just can't think right now. That's interesting looking. 
old old cap this is another uh, 1617 this one's uh, four bars down though it could be the, the same cap maybe Shotgun stand. I haven't found one of these in a long time. Man, I should have done this one live. I think I got something cool. Look at that. I haven't even plucked it yet. I waited. Old spoon. Most likely probably was an old silver plated spoon. Yeah, you can still see some of the old silver still trying to hang on. Maybe a Rogers. I'll clean it up later. It'll look nice. I wonder if it's got any uh, patterns on it. Mm, nothing special. But still looks cool. I love that age. A lot of relics in this area. I am very surprised. The uh, 35, going to like 39.3, the four bar is down. And it seems to be semi big. Got it. Yeah, that was right. Definitely big. That looks like a motorcycle part. Looks like something off of a, a handlebar. But they've used this for all sorts of stuff. What if I clean it up good, I might be able to get a name on it. Hmm. It's a nice chunk of brass. Heavy. Uh, this is coming up in the 20s. I can't get an actual reading on it because over in this area there's a big piece of iron. And I thought that's what this was, was like a cross point. But no, they said there's something here high toning. And it's semi-deep. I feel like I'm digging into a, a driveway. Bob wire, I believe. Let me see if that was a signal. I think it was Bob wire. It's over here now. Field. What did we get? Maybe a bottle opener, some kind of key of some sort to, uh, I have no idea. Actually, was that the item I was looking for? Mm. 
Mm, it could be anything. The metal is definitely impure. This is iron I'm getting. That's what it was. This is a uh, 12, 13, 14. It kind of sounded like that silver plated spoon. Normally you'd think that spoon would have rang up higher due to it being brass or copper. But uh, I'm not sure why it rang up like that. Here we go. What do we get? Some horse deck. It's not a guide. But look at the impurities in that metal. That's old. Some old here. This is a 17, 18, kind of like wanting to stay at a 19, semi-deep. Ooh, what is this? Asphalt. Good lord. There we go. That yeah, looks like they could have been pounded in. Uh, this would be a wedge for cutting down trees, I believe. Look at the stress crack there. Look, I could crack this in half, but yeah, an old wedge. This is a 27, 28 kind of choppy. What a rock. I don't know. Coming back closer to the house might be where the house sat at one time. I don't know where this thing is. I think the camera's in the way. This is a little deeper. Hmm. Where's this pinpoint is working? Oh yeah. Could be that deep. Hmm. Hey, more off to the side.
惯性就是Where now? That can't be it. <sighs> it moved again. This is right there, maybe. This place is hot. A lot of junk in the ground. I'm getting there. Here we go. Now, what variety did we get? It's a weedy. This thing on. Nineteen forty. I don't know. Forty-five, maybe. Nineteen forty-five. Well, that took forever. That was horrible. That sounded like a quarter. Let me go back over that. All right, that's what it was. I kind of like this one. This one's uh, three bars to four bars down. And it's like in the mid-twenties. But I just, ju but I just found a uh, beer can, so I'm gonna I don't think that's it. It could be. Some kind of little knob. Almost looks like it could have. Almost looks like it could have went to a lighter, but let me scan the hole again. That's what it was. This is uh, all over the place. 23, I've seen 35. It's trying to stay like mid 20s, but I don't know. And it's uh, two bars down. I think close to a real old tree. Square nail right there. Look at that. Let me reach in the hole. I don't know if it's a camera. Over 
here. Ooh, I see that. That would be a mercury dime. Look at that. I can almost see the dates, like 1940 or 1949. I don't know. Mercury dime. Okay. Okay. It tells me something. Square nail and a mercury dime. Same hole. I almost thought it was going to be a large thing at first, and then I was disappointed when I seen the nail. But I didn't think a nail would ring up in the 30s. I should go back over that, but anyhow, nice. This is a 2021. It was three bars down. It's not too far from where I found that uh, mercury dime. I'm next to the side of the old tree. We got here. No idea. Maybe a handle to something. Okay, we bend it this way. And then this. And this was folded here, so. It looked like this, going all the way up with two prongs. Could have been a handle, maybe. Interesting. Well, it's a period of all the other stuff I found in the, uh, the area. This is uh, in the 20s, going to a 30. Um, very choppy. Sounds kind of like uh, that mercury dime, where I couldn't get a steady signal. See some kind of weird color deeper soil's changing in this area it's kind of sandy What is this? Hmm. Look at the old nut. Looks like a Model T valve stem. Yeah, I think that's, that's what it is. It's a uh, retaining nut off of a off of a valve stem from a Model T. Very very cool. I like that. This is the area I'm working now. This is what it kind of looks like. It's just a little bushy, but yeah, it's easy to work through that. You can knock all that down with a coil. And that's, where's that tree? Oh, there it is. Look at the size of that sucker. That's a big tree. Easily 250 years old. Uh, has a little life still left in there. I can, looks like the trees, this tree's starting to bud. But that must be its winter winter thing where it puts little buds out but the house i believe i don't know they it probably stood in this spot just about there is uh some like a drop off over there but i don't think that's a cellar but i think this is kind of it so i'm gonna poke around and see if i can find some more this is a uh, 21 22. I think it was like uh, three bars down. I found uh, I found I found the cellar. It was right next to the big tree. My battery died. I didn't find nothing special. It was just a uh, 
a ball jar lid. I think it was from ball hookers. But I'll show you around. Here is the cellar hole. And there's the big tree. She was a big house. Here's the cistern. Look at it. <laughs> this is cool. Just to see the layout. Okay. You had a back area of the house, which was right here. And then you walked around the square impression right here. This was a cistern. This would have been all the water would have been dumped in. And it looks like right here was eaten out too. So you could have probably walked all the way around. It's just been getting filled in over the years. But cistern dead center in the middle of the middle of the um, house. Very interesting. And then I click on this. I can't see. I wish this thing would stop turning off. It goes like this, way up there. And the front of the house almost went right to the street. You can see the old bushes that were in the front. That was probably old lady probably had her husband put them in the front yard. Yeah, this is kind of neat. And so let's let's see what how I would have this laid out. That would have been the backyard. Because I believe the driveway came in through here off to the side. So there must have been another house over there. I swore I seen a well over there. Maybe there could have been something else because the well should have been behind here. should have been up high because they would have had their outhouse somewhere over here away from the well, about 100 feet away or so. All right, let me keep scanning. This one's coming up at 2829, about three bars down. I haven't really found much in this area by the house. I figured there'd be some more, but I think what it was is someone else had the same idea as I did as a metal detected around the house and that was it, they went home. Um, I think I was lucky because I went further in the back where the barns would have went or would have been. Keeps moving. Yeah, it says it's here. Oh, a big rack here. on the edge of this rock. There we go. See more of it here. Harmonica read. I probably broke that all up. Oh yeah.
Hey, deeper, ain't going. I don't care about no more harmonica. Dude. That's what it was. It won't make it to the shadow box, but it'll go in the uh, rail bag. This is a 2425. Sounds just like a an older penny. I'm still on the side of the uh, uh, the cellar hole. Oh, there we go. And some oldness. I have no idea what it went to though. Almost looks like a, something for a lady's hair, but I think it's too heavy for that. It's most likely some hardware to like a door or a dresser. She's got some age though, I tell you that. That's nice. This is a uh, real nice sounding like 30, 35, it's kind of fluctuating, it's deep two, three bars down. I'm nowhere near the house. I've been, uh, I spent about 30 minutes kind of trucking through the woods with the uh, metal detector on, looking for a bottle dump. You know I like my bottle dumps. It's in here. Ooh. What is this? I haven't found uh, no glass anywhere. I get the brush for this one. I think I see writing, but it could be just the crumpled up dirt. Well, there's writing. Hmm. This is New York State. I believe it could be a dog tag. That looks like it says Ford. F O R D. Yep. Not. I don't know. This is what it looks like. I'll be able to straighten out when I get home and uh, maybe uh, figure out what it is. It's starting to dry up. It's almost getting hard to read it. It could even be a trapper's tag because I am. Uh, pretty far from the house and I'm kind of like uh, venturing into the field. I know what this place looked like back in 1951. It was pretty much a uh, field. Oh, there was one spot where you could see where he uh, he plowed and let it go wild. Uh, you can kind of see it here. You can see where it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Got a fresh mouse, mouse nest up there. So this might be my last hole. I'm uh, making a beeline towards that way, which is the street. And if I don't find nothing by then, bottle dump or anything, I'll see you in the wrap up. Ended up getting a couple harmonica reeds, which was nice. I'm not sh still sure what this is. I don't know if it's a tool or what that is. Horse tack, old crusty golf ball, I think. I think it's a Wilson. I found this. I thought this was just a um, some stove type or a stove pipe or something like that. And I had it in my garbage bag. I pulled it out and then I started uh, seeing like a 12 or a number somewhere. I cleaned it off and it was a clock. That's crazy. 
Um, let's see. This thing here, I have no idea. Maybe a handle, some door hardware. This is a talcum powder top. I think it's pretty cool looking. The mason jar lids. Part of a horse comb. A couple uh, shotgun stamps. This is old. I don't know what it is. Um, this right here, this tag, I have no idea what it says. R, Z, and then maybe O, or maybe there was supposed to be a hole there. R, N, O, W, I, T, T, then Ford, and then New York at the bottom. I have no idea. Model T, retainer nut, a valve stem retainer nut, and end up getting 14 cents. This was a Mercury, 1940. And then this was a Weedy from 1948. That was it. That was about, I think, two hours, just about. Started out in the wrong spot. Eventually, I found where the right spot was. I believe the road has been changed a little bit. So the reason why the house was not exactly where it was supposed to be on the maps. I found it and uh, found some leftovers. Obviously, there's other people that have been to that place and hunted it out. Because there should have been a lot more. I didn't do the uh, the field behind it or the, the, the brushy area. I bet if I went in there and, and poked around, I'd probably pull some stuff out. That's where I ended up getting this. And this was kind of like in the middle. And I decided I wanted to, to leave. So I turn and go by this big tree and that was next to it. So it's definitely got some age. Uh, I don't think it's 100 years old or nothing like that, but... I believe if I hunted uh, the back, if I, yeah, it's probably about five acres or so. Yeah, just about. Take me several hours and I could probably pull some more relics up, but I've, I've got a bunch of places where I can get stuff, a lot of relics and stuff like that quicker. So I'm going to do those spots and then come back to uh, these spots that might yield less stuff. So hopefully you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. For your non-subscribers, please subscribe. Remember to keep it low and slow, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.